Today, I am going to teach you the first chapter inside the CPU cabinet. You have read about the main parts of a computer in the previous classes. Can you quickly tell their names? Certainly you can. The main parts of a computer are the keyboard, monitor, the CPU cabinet, mouse, microphone, speakers, printer, etc. Each of these parts perform a special function for the computer. As these parts have become the part of your vocabulary, you will never forget their names. But these are not all in all. A computer has many more parts. Where are they? To find more parts, you have to open your CPU box. The CPU box or the computer cabinet is the case that contains various components of the desktop computer. The computer cabinets are available in variety of shapes and sizes. The size of the computer cabinet also vary depending on the type and power of the computer. A computer cabinet contains many electronic components which work together to make the computer work. Some components are hidden inside the cabinet while some others are partly visible. Some of the components of the CPU cabinet have been explained in this chapter. The Power Supply We know that the computer is an electronic machine. It needs electricity to work. The power supply device in CPU cabinet is used to transform standard wall outlet electricity into the lower voltages required by computer system. The power supply device is there in a metal box in a corner of the cabinet. The power card and the cooling fan can also be seen in the box. Did you know? The power supply unit in PC is known to be the most failure prone item as it heats and cools each time when it gets current when the PC is switched on. The motherboard. The motherboard is the main circuit board. This is the largest circuit board and has many smaller circuits plugged into it. The most important component plugged into it is the microprocessor. Microprocessor is the device that executes a set of instructions known as software. Motherboard also sends power to various parts of the computer and helps them communicate. The motherboard contains expansion cards. Each of these cards has a special purpose. For example, the sound and video cards contain special circuits to control the computer's sound and video. Did you know? Most computers use the Intel processor. It is designed to deliver end-user appreciable performance gains for today's and tomorrow's internet, high-performance 3D graphics, digital photography, speech recognition, and MP3 encoding. The modern expansion card allows computers to communicate with each other. A modem joins the computer to a phone or a cable live so that information can be exchanged among computers. BIOS is another important component of the motherboard. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. The BIOS chip runs a self-test every time when we turn on the computer. It makes sure that all the other chips, hard drives, parts and CPU function together in the PC. The motherboard also ensures that all the parts are functioning properly. Ports A port is an interface through which data is transferred between a computer and other devices such as a printer, mouse, keyboard or monitor. Ports are visible at the back side of the computer cabinet. These parts are used to plug in the hardware. They are connected to expansion cards inside the cabinet. Their expansion cards are plugged into the motherboard and are connected to other components by cables. All the input and output devices plug into ports. 
In computers, there are extra ports to plug in extra hardware like joystick, scanners, digital cameras, etc. Did you know the term port is derived from a Latin word porta which means gate, door, entrance, etc.